Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky with thelandgeek.com, and I'm with your favorite guest, my, well, not really my favorite guest, but my guest, Duran Frazier from landhub.com, ruralpropertyfinder.com, reserveland.com, and a hundred other domains. If you listen to the 99 Cent Domain podcast, you know he's always working. He's always got these ideas. The most innovative man in land, Duran, how are things in Carlsbad? What's going on, buddy? Wow. It's a great intro. That's a great intro. You know, I'm, I'm losing you. Mark, are you there? I'm here. I, I can hear you fine. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm not the most innovative man in land. That's for darn sure. I think uh, you, take, you take the uh, credit for that one, but thank you. Um, everything's good, bud. I mean, San Diego, gosh, it's, it's hard not to be outside today. It's 75 degrees here in San Diego. Um, I guess one of, the, um, one of the negatives is the waves are small, so I have to stay indoors and, uh, and work. So. And again, I'm playing the smallest violin ever for you. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, uh, so give us an update on uh, LandHub. What's going on with that? So LandHub, basically, we are um, at the stage where we're adding a ton of content to the site. Um, we've done that. We've done that. We've completed the migration from Real Property Finder to LandHub. So we are officially LandHub. And um, we have, uh, I think, um, we have, well, we have 50 states with the content and then we're going to be adding county counties, uh, content to the counties and, um, sort of pushing, uh, pushing a real con heavy content, heavy play on the website. And then we're going to move into a Stripe integration, which is going to, um, take, uh, take the payment PayPal platform away and integrate the, um, the Stripe platform into the website, which will be a lot more user-friendly. Yes. Yeah, Stri Stripe is great. Stripe is great. For those, for those of you who don't know about Stripe. You know, definitely Google it. But, uh, Duran, you want to just give us like an overview of why Stripe is better than, say, PayPal or Authorize.net? I think Stripe f found that there's just so many, there's so many, um, what's rules and regulations when it comes to, um, credit card, um, platforms. So basically, and, and fees, there's tons of fees. Correct. Like the 29 cents for transaction and it goes up to 2.9%, but down to 2.5% or up to 3. Point, depending on how many transactions you do. So they just make it simple. 3% across the board on everything. No, no transaction fees. Really simple. Right. See, in, in an Amex is typically more expensive and it's just 3% for Amex, right? Correct. So that's it. One fee, no other, you know, no other figuring out what your fees are going to be. Now, the only thing I don't like about Stripe, and this is literally just nitpicky, is that they hold the money for seven days. So they're making real money on that float, but that's fine. That's how they solve the no fee uh, dilemma. I'd rather that than have to look at my, you know, 10 page statement every month and, you know, try to dissect that and be like, oh, what, what's my real percentage here that I'm, I'm paying? Correct. Um, so yeah, so that's, 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 finished up next week and then we move into our uh software heavy milestone which is which is focusing on the craigslist aspect and the youtube aspect of the of the platform which we think is going to be um a big winner for our clients so um that that begins to happen over the next i would say three weeks so i'm pretty excited about that so when can i sign up like can i start listing property now you can, but we, I'd prefer you to wait because we, um, we, we don't have the Stripe platform integrated yet. I mean, you can use PayPal, but what's going to happen is your account obviously is going to go away. You're not going to be subscribed, which makes it a little bit of a, a nightmare for us to resubscribe you. I mean, it's not a nightmare. We just, we'd have to email you to resubscribe on the Stripe system. So are the podcast I, listeners going to get a discount? Do you have discount? Uh, coupon, yeah, deep coupon discount. codes? Yep. We're going to give a, uh, one, 1% 1 off to uh, listeners. The, the land geek <laughs> coupon code. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Forget, forget. No, I, we will, we'll set something up for listeners for sure. Is it, is it going to be difficult to implement? Uh, what a coupon code? Yeah. Yeah. Like with Stripe. I mean, how does that not, work? Not, not at all. I think uh, those, those, all those new platforms allow that. So they'll just have a separate area for code to add, to add that, that bar space that says coupon code. Right. Now I, um, I paid what, what you want to yeah. you want 
Now, what you want to be careful doing is when you when you set that up for like in, in our situation is you don't want people to always go looking for coupon codes. Um, so we we we're going to be very careful. I don't know. I mean, it's we're we're pricing this so reasonable that it's almost to a point where we don't want to give coupon codes because it is going to add a lot of value for for a uh, for a seller. No, I mean the, the yeah, I I get that. I mean, I, I would do it if it was twice the price because that's what my time's worth. So yeah. It's it makes a lot of sense for for you know a full time land seller, yeah. Um, you know what's interesting about uh, all of this and and getting back to Stripe is I paid a developer eight hundred dollars to make a custom checkout page for me, and it's the most kludgy thing ever. Like I had to make a separate YouTube video just to explain to people if you're going to FrontierPropertiesUSA.com and you are on that site and you're on listings and you buy a piece of property from me, it's it's not easy. And uh, I, I think I'd like to, you know, find a developer to use Stripe and fix that and just have a, a real clean, simple interface. You put in your information. I want to know your vesting information and check out. And that's it. Here's the good news for you, Mark, is one of my new little ventures. And of course, it's part and parcel of everything I'm doing now is I am I'm I have a team of people that I put together. And I'm actually going to be utilizing that team as a core team of people that I can actually sell to other people. Um, so I will have a development team in place um, and I will be migrating a new site over to socialachievement.com, um, which will be <clears throat> basically creating uh, the ability for anybody like you who needs just a simple developer. You can email, um, they'll get back to you and they'll give you a price quote and it's, and it's offshore developers. It's not, it's not here in the US. So it's very reasonable. I love that idea. That'll so, help a lot. Um, will they do landing pages? They'll do everything. Really? Yep. So uh, well, every 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 project will have a project manager, and they will help you. And they again, they they'll be in the Philippines. But everybody, you'll you'll basically be able to utilize my team of people, and uh, and it'll be set up under social socialachievement.com. Currently, the site's up and running, but it's it's an older it's an older site that deals with just primarily San Diego. But we're going to focus kind of on a, a more national level to allow people to utilize that team. Cause I have, I have a, a, a team of about 30 people, but that I, that I use, but I, I, we're going to, we have a, with that team, we have the ability to scale to about 210. So we have a huge, huge network of people that you guys can utilize through my connections. Fantastic. So, so what, I mean, if I want to do that, I just have to go to socialconnection.com then, right? Social, socialachievement.com. Socialachievement.com. Correct. Got it. Correct. So, uh, You've been doing any deals? Do you want to talk about some deals? Um, I, you, you know, I have been doing non a couple of non real estate deals this week that are just finance structures. So I, I don't have m much on the real estate side that we can talk about. All right. Well, I, I just closed on a 96 acre parcel, and uh, in northern Nevada, and, and you know what? It's it's interesting. I actually partnered with a coaching student on it, so he brought me the deal. Didn't want to. Uh, go through the brain damage of, every, of doing everything because I've already done so many deals in that county. So brought it to me. Didn't want to put out as much cash as that deal required either. And so we did it together. And, and the beautiful thing about this deal and what I want, the, the, the point of it is, is how we sold it. So we didn't have to go to any major platforms, right? We didn't have to go to a Craigslist or an eBay or a Land Watch or Lands of America, whatever it may be, right? We just went to our existing list. And this is why I think list building is so critical in, in today. And literally in a week and a half, we, we sold a $30,000 piece of property, right? And uh, I, I, that kind of you know, is mind boggling to me that we're able to do that. So, and we got it pretty good down too. We wanted $1,000 down and it was crickets when we did that. I had a lot of interest at a thousand dollars down, but nobody paid. But then when we lowered it to five hundred, we got our deal, and uh, and now we're going through the process. Guess oh, guess who I've got by the way using a, uh, managing that note now. Oh, what's it? Say it again. Evergreen Note Servicing. I'm back in the business with them. Oh, how did you did you structure that note a particular way for them to uh, allow you to do that? You know what? I, I called Catherine Fritter over there and explained to her what we were doing. And uh, she let us docusign that deal, as long as we've you know we've got a recorded deed in place on file with them. 
-hmm. case Jeff and I die, and then the buyer can still get his deed, which right. is you know a good way to do it. I I have everything set up with my attorney here, so in case yeah. I die and you're paying me on a note, that the estate will just deed your property. It doesn't have to be my signature, but they uh they wanted it that way. Yeah, which that I think most, you know is smart. Yeah, most notice servicing companies do not do not work with contract for deeds, at least the ones that I've called. Um, did they give you some some uh, specific uh, parameters in order for you to to uh, work with them? No, no. I mean, it's just, you know, they charge a $100 setup fee and then they charge uh, a monthly fee and that's it. They, you know, they they don't love the land contract, but they'll do it. That's as long as everything's recorded, they're fine. Got it. And so you actually record it in the county, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Which, you know, standard anyways. Yeah. For the most yeah. part. So um, really happy with that deal. But, you know, it got me thinking how important list building is. And, uh, you know, even if it's a slow drip, even if you're only getting one or two opt-ins a day, I find, I, I really, and you could argue with this with me, I really think a landing page today and a good autoresponder series is more important than a good website. You want to debate this? Uh, no. You agree with me? Well, I mean, you're, you're, yeah, it's kind of a broad, uh, 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 it's kind of a broad question in terms of, of whether or not it's a, it's, it's a smarter move. But if you, if you have rankings of particular keywords that are, that are highly converting keywords for, for land itself, then I would disagree that a landing page is important because I would say, Hey, if you could sell land on your webpage and these are high converting keywords that go to your site, it's more important to have a web page. But Yo, okay. Well, let me ask you this. How many people go to your website and buy property cold have I no know. relationship with you? Just like the deal and buy it. Uh, probably one to two a month. Come on. You know what? When you yeah, have my I mean, come on, man. When you have my sales ability, are you, you kidding me? No, no, I'm not saying they contact you. They just go on the <laughs> website and they buy it. No, I'm not, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't happen. And you're like an SEO master, samurai, right? Yes, yes. yes so you're getting. I guarantee you're getting more traffic to reserve land than I'm getting to frontier properties. Uh, Guar there's no doubt. Guaranteed. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. But but like I said, I think that a list is important. Um, but I think it depends on how you structure it, whether or not I believe that one is more valuable than the other. Okay. I see this is I disagree with you. I think we're have, we're seeing a, a literally a glacial shift from the industrial economy, right, to the connection economy. And until we make that connection, Commerce is going to be much more sluggish. Once we make that connection, we establish that rapport, right? We have a connection either, you know, through Facebook or Twitter, your email list, whatever it is. We've provided some value for you first, right? It's going to be very difficult to do any kind of big ticket sale in the future. Does that make sense? I agree. I agree. Your, your list has to trust you. Your clients have to trust you. Right. And, and the only way to do that is to provide value. So like you're doing freelandreport.com. I'm doing three feet of land buying mistakes.com. Um, I'm doing that coffee talk series. I don't know if you've watched any of those videos, but, but you know, all those things, they don't take much time, but they add value. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, you were talking about what you were going to do as far as article writing for land hub and how that's that content's so important. And, uh, can you kind of talk more about that? Uh, ask the question again. Sorry. You know how how you're going to write more articles uh, for Land Hub and, and create more content, and you had like a whole system in place. Well, I don't want to talk about that system uh, publicly just yet. <laughs> you don't have to give us, you know what you're going to do the the ins and outs, but just the broad strokes of it. Why the the why you're doing it? Okay, so we all know that Google wants content heavy websites to rank in the search rankings and so what i'm doing with land hub is basically taking all my pages from counties to states and adding content to each page um, to talk about each county which will help build the organic rankings i see does that make sense that makes sense so you know i 
I can go into further detail, but basically, and, and it would probably be over everyone's head, but it's more of a, <clears throat> it's a play at content because that's where Google's going. It's a play in content because that's where Google's going. Correct. Okay. So the better the content, the better your search ranking, basically. The better, the, the better and the more unique content, uh, the higher the chance you have of ranking on, on Google. Okay. And then you're going to, so you, do you do keyword research first? Like, give me an example of what you need to do to rank in Google. Uh, there's so many variables. I mean, you you, you want to, you okay, you want to first of all, if you're on a WordPress website, you want to you want to you want to try and use similar words, right? So, <clears throat> let's say your let's say your target word is Nevada land. You want to tag Nevada land as many times as you can in, in an article without being overkill, but you got to be careful because Google will read like six or seven times being too many. Um, and, uh, and they, they actually have a term for it. I forget what the term is called. Key, keyword stuffing. Uh, yeah, but it's, it, uh, it's, it's called keyword density. Um, so, so, um, and then you want to tag the, the, the page, um, the, the title of the page. Um, and then you, you separate paragraphs and you talk about, you know, Nevada land for sale. You use Nevada land in, in the headings. Um, and then of course, throughout the article. And then of course the meta tags are also going to have them in there, which you, which you can't see from the front end, but if you right click and you view source, you can read it. I see. So, okay. If that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay. So, that's, uh, no, go ahead, Mark. No, no, it's, that's, it's interesting. I think it's helpful. Especially, I mean, you know, this would be my advice if you're just starting out, right? And yeah. I, want, I want to see if you agree with this. Number one, a landing page. Number two, a good autoresponder series that includes valuable content to give to your, your, your list, right? And then number three, blogging for, mm -hmm. uh, for traffic and, and YouTube videos. If you want to, if you need, uh, traffic to your site or your, landing page, I would do those four things first, right? I agree. I agree. You do you do agree with that? I do agree. Okay. So yeah, I think that's uh that's a good way to start. And then once you start getting that traffic, starting getting those uh leads in, then start making uh offers and promotions to your list. Hey gang, just bought forty acres in northern Nevada, you know, only Two hundred dollars down, two hundred a month. This expires on Monday, right? So create some urgency there too, and you're gonna sell. You're gonna sell property that way all day long. Yeah, and I think it's more important than having this beautiful website that could cost you two thousand dollars to create. Where I don't know. I, I think the you know unless it's I don't know. I just I'm I'm down on the website idea. I'd, well, rather, I'd rather go to a landing page and have platforms to sell on. Than having and spending a lot of time on the website now. Yeah. Well, I think one of the things uh, to mention about the website is that it does give you that foundation um, and sort of build uh, kind of it, it makes you a viable player in the space. People look at you and go, "I can trust this guy. He's got a website. He's selling ten properties, not one." Um, so th there's a couple of ways to look at it, but you're right. I mean, the idea from a marketing aspect, you want to bring them in, you want to educate them and you want to sell them something. So, right. So you could create a very basic WordPress site for what, under 200 bucks, right? Uh-huh. And you could even go to like a Fiverr, have someone do that. But then within that website, really focus on your landing page and yep. really, and really put more of your effort into the landing page and the autoresponder series. Because that's ultimately what's going to bring you revenue. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Rather than spending all this time and money making this beautiful website in a gorgeous logo and, you know, having it functional. You know, I, I'd rather see on a website some basic information about that, about the company, you know, some testimonials. You know, you just, you know, give me the basic warm and fuzzies, but then I want some, something more. Like informationally, yep. No, I agree. I agree. Okay, I, I thought so, you're gonna, you're going to argue with me on that. No, I mean, look, I think I think at the end of the day, I mean, uh, to disagree with you, I mean, there's 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 reasons why I think a website's important. Um, but if you're just getting into the game and trying to sell land, 
I mean, the, the offline component when it, when it comes to real estate is very viable. But when I say offline, I mean, like you, you sending a newsletter to me is somewhat offline because you're, you're not utilizing your website directly and you're using a component of communication that will eventually turn to a, turn into a phone call. Right. Yeah. You know what? I like the idea of a physical newsletter as well. I really yeah. do. You know, yeah. you send somebody a physical newsletter. First of all, we're, we're getting so much stuff in our email inbox now. It's almost going to come back around where, you know, marketers are going to go after our mailbox. I don't get as much junk mail as I used to. Do you? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't get as much, but I still get quite a bit. I take, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It goes in spurts. I'll get a week where I get very little, and then I get a week where I get a ton. So, yeah. So, you know, if you, if you send out a physical newsletter, let's say a three, five page newsletter that has got great information in it about the land market, real estate market, uh, you know, the properties you're selling, that thing's going to live there for the entire month because people will leave it on the counter. They can share it with their friends um, as opposed to you get an email, bing, delete. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep, totally. I agree. So, I agree. Um, you know, it's, cert it's certainly something to explore. I, there's a there's a site out there that uh, was recommended to me that helps you make these newsletters. Uh, I can't remember it. I'm sure if you Google, you know, newsletter, uh, newsletter helper or something like that, it'll, it'll pop up. But I think it's like 79 bucks a month and they create these templates for you and, you know, half the content's already kind of written. And then you just write the rest of it and then they fulfill it. They send it out for you and they do everything for you. It's, it makes writing newsletters really easy. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find out, but yeah, the, the name's kind of not there for me, but yeah, I so, mean, go ahead. No, no, I was saying like, so, so that kind of leads us into what some stuff we talked about earlier, but I'd love to hear a little more about that tip of the week that you have. Um, did you want to, you want to lead, lead us uh, into your tip of the week? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this came from Tori during a gold mastermind session, and I just started playing with it, and I really like it. Um, you know, we've talked about my ADD. You've got ADD, and some, there's some days where I feel like I'm just doing stuff and getting done, but I'm not getting the the wigs done, my wildly important goals for that day, right? And so there's mm -hmm. a site called SimpleOlogy.com. Simple and then ology, O L O G Y dot com. And you, uh, it's like a getting things done site. It's web based, it's free. And I'm just getting into it, so I can't go on, you know, on and on about it. But from what I've already done on it, it's really nice. That's going to be my tip of the week is simpleology dot com. Uh, do you have a tip? Um, you know what? I, uh, I, I don't really have a tip today. Um, because I honestly, um, didn't have time to think about one. Well, can you come up with one real fast? I, I love, uh, I love putting you on the spot. There's nothing finer. Okay. Let's see here. Um, you know what? I do have one. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a site called warriorforum.com. Warriorforum.com. Okay, what's Warrior Forum? Warrior Forum is the number one internet marketing forum since 1997. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's basically a, a, um, a, a place where you can get. It's like a hub of ideas where you can get ideas from anything. You know that people create softwares. They put them on there from for internet marketing, for marketing newsletters, everything you could think of. Um, but there's a lot of information, and people speak back and forth to each other. I think it's pretty reasonable. I think you get pay one price and you sign up for it. It's like a lifetime membership for like 50 or 60 bucks, but really good information. Really? Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm going there now. You've never Warrior been to Warrior Forum, Mark? Internet marketing forums. Oh yeah. I've been here. Of course you've been yeah, there. Yeah. This is, this is, seems so sketchy to me. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh no. It's, it it's, seems it's, like everybody's trying to sell somebody something. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't worry about the sales aspect. Just read into what you, there's a lot of helpful people there that have a lot of good tips and information. Okay. So where do you go? There's like copywriting forum, AdSense forum, article whatever you, forum. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to learn about. I learned a lot from this website, a lot. 
But which forum? Which where did you go? I went to I went to um, the main internet marketing discussion forum, which is the first one. Then I then I would go if I'm wanting to learn about social media marketing forum, I'd go there. Mobile market. I mean, you you can see whatever you want. AdSense, PPC, copywriting forum. They've got all these different forums you can get information. Um, there's another one called I think it's called. Um, let me find out. Um, let's see, which I know you've been to, Mark. It's it's really similar. It's called forums dot digital point dot com. Which one is it? Forums dot digital point dot com. Forums dot digital point dot com. All right, I'm gonna go there. Mark, you got to know about this, Mark. Forums dot digital. We go. I don't know any of this stuff. Wow. I'm I'm a land guy. I'm not a marketing guy. I'm appalled. All right, digital advertising. Advertise virtually anything here with CPM banner ads, CPM email ads. No, that's that's just that area. That's for areas for that area is for sale. But if you go down, you can see Google questions, Yahoo, Bing, search. Like you can you can get search engine information. You can ask questions about business and marketing. This is a really cool website with really intelligent people. This is cool. So is, is this really, is this free? This is free, and it's similar to Warrior Forum, um, but in, in the sense that that this one is free and that one's not. Interesting. Okay, cool. Yep. So, I like this. So educate yourself, educate your mind. SEO, payment processing, social networks, general business, general marketing. Look at this: forty-four thousand eight hundred forty-five discussions, four hundred eighteen thousand messages. In general marketing. This is a, a vibrant platform here. Very, very vibrant. Yep. Huh. So pretty fantastic. cool. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Well, great tips. Uh, good pa good podcast. So I guess we're we're done. Any, anything else on your mind? I, I think we're good. We're good. All right. Well, uh, just a reminder to everybody, Duran needs some love. Please check out landhub.com. But wait, just check it out. Give him some feedback if you like it or not. Uh, he was, you know, asking about the logo. So give him some feedback on the logo. But uh, check out landhub.com and then it's going to be ready in a couple weeks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. going to be ready in a couple weeks, Strand. I think that by the end of, uh, by, by next Friday, we, uh, you know, by the time this is launched, we'll probably have a couple of days before it's actually, uh, it's actually live. Maybe even be live by the podcast. Okay, great. So Aaron. we'll do that. And then go to reserveland.com, send them some love there, you know, invest in some uh, wholesale land. Or if Duran doesn't have anything you want, go to my site, frontierpropertiesusa.com and invest in some wholesale, wholesale land with me. And if you haven't done it yet, go to thelandgeek.com, download for free. And you know what I should say? Register for free. And now, if you register, yeah, we get a little bit more information from you. Uh, but in exchange for that extra information, instead of just getting the free passive income blueprint, now you're getting the passive income blueprint, the, f the three fatal land buying mistakes, and we're emailing you the podcast uh, each week, plus the coffee talk videos, which you don't have to then go to uh, on YouTube as well. So all of that, absolutely free. So check out the site, thelandgeek.com, and do send us some comments. Let us know how we're doing. If there's any topics or tips you'd like us to discuss uh, in the following weeks, let us know, and you know we'd appreciate that feedback and how we're doing. So, uh, Duran, anything else? Uh, I think we're good, Mark. All right. Hey, I really I pre and Duran, thank you. For time, for, sir. For taking the time out of your extremely busy week of uh, deal making to uh spend time with me so this is mark podolsky the land duran frazier from landhub.com make it a great productive week and uh we'll see you next time thanks a lot thank you for listening to another episode of the land geek join us next time for more tips secrets and information that will help you succeed stay connected with the land geek on facebook at facebook.com slash the land geek